Hey again, this is Venus with Personal Powerhouse. So today we're gonna change the air filter in your home. This is the filter. So we get ours delivered by our landlord. When you rent a place, which is what we're doing, the landlord takes care of certain things. So our guy delivers these every month. Um, you can pick these up at Home Depot or Lowe's or Walmart, and they have different sizes depending on your air vent. So the reason I'm pointing up is because ours is up here, it's in the hallway. And I will show you, and it's not pretty. It's pretty dirty, actually, and I'm not gonna clean it. So we're just gonna go with that. But we are gonna go ahead and change it. I'm gonna open it, and then we'll get started. Okay, so I was about to open this one, and I saw this on the back. A lot of times, if you'll just read the product, you'll find out a lot of simple information, but sometimes people just wanna open it and start using it without ever reading about it. Just read the little pamphlet that comes with it, and you'll learn a lot. So I saw this, and I wanted to share. Um, yeah, so it says how to select an air filter. Pay close attention to the FPR number, which you'll find prominently displayed on all our filters. A higher FPR indicates better filter performance. So FPR, it says prominently displayed. Their FPR is five. So one last thing before I open this guy. On this, you will see little arrows that say airflow. This is telling you how to place it into your air vent. And there are instructions again on the back if you'll read. So the second category was the filter life. And then the third one was how to change the filter. And it actually talks you through it. But this cardboard piece, it stays on. You'll see that. And then this is how you put it in. So if you'll notice, there are little, there's like cardboard fence on this side. And then it's completely white on this side. So it, it is particular in how you place it into the air vent. So keep that in mind whenever you're doing yours. Okay, so that is our super clean beautiful air vent up there and the latches are on this side and then it's going to drop down and you'll see the other one come out and this is my setup so i don't have a tall ladder this is what i've got do what you want don't copy me do what's safe for you but this is just like the easiest quickest thing for me to be able to reach up there so i'm gonna let you watch me change this guy and all i've done is just take the plastic off of this filter so far Okay, so now I'm up here where my filter needs to be changed. So I'm going to open it and then it's going to drop down. Now one thing to mention is turn off your air conditioner or your heater, whatever you've got. Um, just make sure that the system is off so you can do this because you actually don't want air to flow through your air duct without that filter. So mine's off. I've got two little latches that I'm just going to open on each side. So I'm going to hold this up. I'm going to open latch one and then I'm going to open latch two. And then like I said, this is going to drop. Keep your mouth closed and try not to breathe in because you never know what's going to fall or what dust is going to come at you. So. Okay. This is our dirty air filter. I should have dated it because I really don't know when I last changed it. But yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm going to show you what it looks like up in there because it is a little bit freaky, like for me, it's kind of like a black hole, so I'm going to show you. That's what it looks like in this guy. Kind of like a black hole, kind of like a, I don't know, like it's going to suck you up into the ether. Anyway, that's that. Alright, let's look at the difference. Dirty filter, clean filter. Now you understand why you need one of these. Like I said, you're going to find the arrow, so that's going to go up in here. Now. One thing, I'm not that super tall, so it's kind of a struggle to hold this up here and latch it before it falls. Um, so one thing that you can do that my brother taught me is when you've got it like this, go ahead and kick on the AC unit or the heater, whatever it, the air, whatever's gonna make the airflow. That suction is gonna hold the vent up there or hold this guy up there just to make it a little bit easier on me to latch it in. So. Um, I am going to go ahead and turn this on. Thankfully, my system is right here. I don't know how it would go for you. Okay, okay so that turned it on. Ta-da! So now it's kind of holding it. I'm going to lift this. Okay, now I'm going to close latch one. And... Make sure that this guy is fit in here. It's this right latch that gives me a little bit of, uh, gives me a little bit of trouble. So that guy's in there, this guy's in there, 
And now slowly move your hand because if it's not secure, then it's just gonna fall on you and it's gonna be gross. So it's secure. And then that guy, that oil filter, like kind of nasty. I do need to clean this thing. Um, that oil filter just goes in the trash and then we're good for another month. So what you could do is set a reminder on your phone. I'm gonna turn that back down. So we're good there. Okay, so that wasn't bad, right? Sometimes it helps to just see somebody do it before you or with you. You can actually play the video and do it at the same time if you wanted. Um, so subscribe to Powerhouse for so much more content on adulting stuff. I'm like, I'm telling you, there is so much to learn about adulthood. Learn this stuff and save yourself the headache. So the last and final step is to clean up after yourself and then have a great day. That's, that's your agenda.